In this video, we will be looking at searching for film and video using the author field. Let's start by looking at this record. The author field is the first one that we can see here. There are multiple roles that can be represented by the author field, especially when thinking of film. For example, here we have the film director, which is indexed. We also have other types of roles like film producer, screenwriter, and actor. And there are other roles such as director of photography, editor of moving image work, composer, costume designer, presenter, and even certain fields will be able to accommodate publisher or production company. The author fields are clickable. If you'd like to see more documents or more resources with the same author, it is possible to just click on it. When looking at the search results, it is possible to see that there are more than videos and films that might be represented. In this case, if you would like to restrict, you may restrict specifically to video. You could also decide to explore other resources that are available for the same author. So in this case, if I look at Alfred Hitchcock, I have 101 films available. I could further filter by location. So for example, I could select the Visual Collections Repository, and have 93 results here. Or I could look for the Webster Library, where I have 16 results. Let's take a look at searching for authors. In the advanced search form, there is a search index for authors. So as we have seen, it is possible to look at the scrolling menu here and select author. If, for example, I would like to search for uh, film director Wim Wenders, I can simply type in the words and then click when I've identified a resource where I'm sure that he is the author that I'm looking for. As you can see, once I've clicked on the name, my search bar has changed. I now see quotation marks for an exact search, and I see that the family name precedes the given name. I can also see that the search code AU has appeared. Knowing this search code, I could search for the author field directly in the simple search box. I would simply add AU colon with the name of my author. Certain offers will have names that will need to be disambiguated. Therefore, it is recommended once you've identified a resource that has the right author to click on this to be able to see resources that have been identified with this authority file. Once you've identified a document that you would like to see, click on the record and you can either look at the bottom of the record to see the call number and where the, the resource is located. There might also be an e-link that you can look to be able to view the resource now using a, one of our databases. And if you'd like to share this, uh, this item, click on the share button and copy the URL link.